Hey everyone, in this video we will learn to overlay the data points on a box plot. So box plot uh, is a really good way to show summary, summary of the data but if we want to show the data points on top of it or how the data points stack we will learn how to do that today in Power BI using the Python visual. So let's start. So uh, as you can see, um, I've got this uh, table here with me, which essentially shows me the calendar year sales amount and total product cost. So uh, whenever I'm trying to build a Python visual or uh, build a visualization in Python, I start with the table X and then I convert it into a Python visual just to see how the data points are stacking up and what I need. So I'm doing a control C with this selected and I'll do a control V. So it will give me a copy of the uh, same visual, which is a table X. And now I'll go and click on the Python visual. And you can see here, it, it is telling us what it's already done. So it's already imported the data frame with those data points on line three. So it's got a calendar year sales amount and total product cost, and then it's deduped the data. Now, uh, it's already imported pandas. Um, what we will uh, be importing is uh, Seaborn and matplotlib for our purposes. And I've uh, got my code copied here in uh, case, so we'll just go through it. So first is we will just execute, we'll grab these import statements. So we are getting Seaborn package and we are importing the matplotlib pi plot. So the next one is we will plot the box plot. And I will just, let me just do a control X here. And I've copied it here. So all I'm saying is create a box plot where the Y axis is the sales amount and the X axis is calendar year. The data is the data set. And then I'm setting the width and the palette. So let me just execute this. So I can execute this by clicking on this um, round button or run script option. So I'll do that. So let me go and check what's going on. So I click on see details option. So, okay, so I need to type in pyplot dot, just to show this, I need to type in plt dot show. And uh, let's run this again. So we've got the box plot created, but they're really squished and that's because the sales amount is on. So I'll let me just hit this and uh, it says sum, so we don't want the sum option, so we'll just click don't summarize. And this visual will change soon. And you can see that we've got the, the box plots now. So the next one is we want to overlay the, the data points on top of it. So let's just go back to the code I've got and I'll run you through the code as well. So um, over here we had said B plot is equal to blah blah, just to plot the box plot. And we've already covered that. So let me do another control V and all I'm doing is I'm doing an overlay on top of the existing box plot. I'm saying B plot is equal to, and I'm specifying the same axis, Y is sales amount and X is calendar year. And the data is the data set. And then I'm setting the option of jitter is equal to true. The marker is how I want the data points to look like. And then I'm setting them to be of color black. That's it. And now we run this script. And let me just put this into maximized uh, mode. So you can see um, that in this video, what we've essentially done is we've overlaid the points, our data points on top of the box plot. And we've used the uh, Seaborn and the PyPlot, uh, Matplotlib PyPlot libraries for this. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, what I've also done is I've left this, I've uploaded this file to GitHub and uh, left a link to the file in the video notes. So you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. Uh, do let me know if you would like me to take any other specific topics. Do uh, subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.